Hello lovely people, this week I am here with a quick little review of Son of the Shadows by Juliette Marillier. Son of the Shadows is the second book in the Seven Waters series. As such, there will be mild spoilers for the first book because it's impossible to discuss this without giving some stuff away, so if you don't want to know anything about Daughter of the Forest, I would harshly recommend you go watch a different video instead. The first book in this series, Daughter of the Forest, follows Sora. I think that's how you say her name. I'm sorry if it's not. <laughs> this book follows her daughter, Leoden. Um, one thing I really liked about this is that initially at the start, Leoden feels like a very similar heroine, because um, both characters um, are healers with a deep knowledge of um, plants and herbs and stuff like that. They also care deeply for their family, they care deeply for Seven Waters, they seem like quite quiet souls. Um, whereas as this went on, the differences between them became more apparent and I enjoyed how we had this core base of seeing how these two people are related, because there's a lot of similarity there, but it was fun having Leoden be enough of her own person. Um, for example, the main thing that struck me was that in the first book, um, all of the, the whole journey and quest, whatever you want to call it, is all based around silence. That is the whole point, she is not allowed to speak. Whereas in this book, um, speech is one of Leoden's greatest weapons in many ways, so um, folk tales permeate this. There are a lot of telling of um, Irish stories, which I really loved, um, and also in ways that are meaningful. They're not just random stories. They they give hints about what's to come and lessons and stuff like that, which I really liked. Um, but also it's, it's key to Leoden's healing. One of the things she does when she heals people is she tells them little stories. She speaks to them, that is a vital part of her healing process. So I enjoyed that at the start I was a little bit trepidatious because I was like, oh this feels like a very similar person, but then as it went on it became apparent how they differed and I enjoyed that. Um, in a similar way, the there are there is a similarity of trials that they have to go through, like healing someone, stuff like that. But again, it diverges enough that it did feel like its own story, which was fun. Another positive, I would say, is that Juliette Marillier's um, world building always leaves me feeling, um, I don't know, I get very sucked in. This is quite, her books are not always the shortest, and their pace is not always the quickest, but I feel quite grounded in the world and the characters and stuff like that. One thing that um, bothered me about this is the refusal of certain characters to just share information. And I understand that that is addressed in this and that Leoden herself is also points out that things could have been easier if people had just shared information. But that does not stop me from being frustrated. There seems like a lot of pain was caused just because people weren't honest and didn't share information. I understand that that is part of what's happened. That's a deliberate thing, but it did also irk me slightly. Um, in comparison to the first book, I will also say that I didn't feel like the villain was as compelling, or rather, we had sort of a micro-villain and the concept of a macro-villain, and we're still building up to the greater foe, so in many ways it's not going to stop me from continuing with the series, because I understand that we're building to this greater threat, and there will be more of a crescendo, I understand that. That said, there it wasn't quite as... Um, interesting a villain as the first one, I think. I don't know. Um, suffice to say, I enjoyed this. I got very swept into the world building. I have some niggles. Um, it, to go into some of the other ones would involve spoiling things like the ending of the book, so, you know, I won't do that. But essentially, I still thoroughly enjoyed this. I enjoy these stories that are, they're taking their time. A lot of it is about quiet strength and stuff like that. I never really care too much for the romance side of this. I will say in neither book have I been super rooting for the romantic relationship, but that is largely a me thing, I would say. I take, I'm not always the biggest romance in book kind of girl, but um, I had a heartily good time. I am intrigued to see, there are a lot of threads developing that have been developing for two books now. I'm intrigued to see whether they're going to start to become more explicit in the third book or if we are still building. I think this is a six book series, if I'm correct. I can't remember if that's 100% correct. But um, suffice to say, this is just a little snapshot to say, 
here are some things I liked, here are some niggles I have, on the whole, did enjoy it. If you also took part in Myth Take, um, read us on, and you're wondering whether to continue with the series, I would say, if you liked the tone and pacing of the first book, you will enjoy this. If you did not like the tone and pacing of the first book, you will not enjoy this, because this feels very cohesive with the first book to me. That's everything I wanted to talk about this week. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. I'll see you next time for something different.